there. You made it to Music Corner Story Time. Come on in. My name is Renee, and I play and teach the viola and the violin. Today's story, Ketzel, the Cat Who Composed, is about somebody who writes music, a composer, and a stray kitten he finds. I have three cats, Einstein and Louie, who were rescued from the Humane Society, and Stella, a stray, just like Ketzel, the kitten in our story. Because I've had strays and rescues for many years, I know that living with these amazing animals is a fun adventure. So sit back, relax, and listen to this interesting tale about a kitten and a composer. Oh, and don't forget to listen to the author's note at the end for a little surprise. Quetzal, The Cat Who Composed by Leslie Newman. Illustrated by Amy June Bates. Moshe Patel lived in the middle of a noisy building, in the middle of a noisy street, in the middle of a noisy city. But Moshe didn't mind. Everything he heard was music to his ears. Moshe was a composer. Every morning he composed himself by sitting very still. He listened outside himself and listened inside himself, just as his teacher had taught him when he was a little boy. When he was done listening, Moshe turned all the wonderful sounds he heard into beautiful music. When Moshe was finished working for the day, he went out for an afternoon walk to listen to the sounds of the city. One particular day, he turned a corner and heard a sound he had never heard on the street before. It was a small sound. It was a sad sound. It was a... Little Quetzal, Moshe cried. He often used Yiddish words when he was nervous or excited. Come, little Quetzal, he said, scooping up the black and white kitten. I will take you home, and we will make beautiful music together. The next morning... Moshe moved a stack of books off the top of the piano and set Quetzal down. You must listen outside yourself and inside yourself, he instructed as he began to play. Quetzal kept very still. The music started off softly and slowly. Then it grew louder and faster, reminding Quetzal of crowds of people rushing by her, almost trampling her, and she meowed in fright. Moshe stopped playing, picked up little Quetzal, and looked into her big green eyes. Ah, Quetzal, I see that music stirs your soul, he said, and that is a wonderful thing. One day, a letter from Moshe arrived in the mail. The Paris New Music Review is having a contest, Moshe read aloud to Quetzal. Each composition must be no longer than 60 seconds. Moshe blinked in disbelief. 60 seconds? Impossible! How can anyone create a beautiful composition in only 60 seconds, he asked Quetzal, and put the letter aside. The next day, when Moshe sat down to play, his fingers fumbled over the keys. He kept glancing at the letter from the Paris New Music Review. Finally, he decided to give it a try. He wrote a few notes, and then a few more, and then a few more. Before he knew it, his composition was ten minutes long. Impossible, Moshe said. Time passed and Moshe grew more and more unhappy. One day, he did not even come to the piano at all. Quetzal stared at him as he stared out the window. Quetzal didn't know if he was listening outside himself or listening inside himself. 
Perhaps he was not listening at all. Moshe looked at the letter announcing the contest again, and Ketzel looked at it too. She knew it was the source of all Moshe's unhappiness. Maybe if she got rid of it, Moshe would be happy again. She put one six-toed paw down on the keyboard, crept across the keys, then pushed off the piano with all four paws and landed on the table where the letter lay. Moshe whipped around. Ketzel, that was magnificent, he cried. Moshe grabbed a pencil and jotted down exactly what he'd heard. He played it several times, then turned to Ketzel. Your composition has a clear beginning, middle, and end, is full of heart, and takes exactly 21 seconds to play. Ketzel, you're a genius! Moshe folded up Ketzel's composition and wrote a note to the judges. This piano solo, piece for piano, four paws, was written by Ketzel Kotel. It is her first composition. She hopes you enjoy it. Then he and Ketzel walked to the corner and dropped it in the mail. Time passed and Moshe and Ketzel forgot all about the contest. Then one day another letter arrived. Dear Ketzel Kotel, we are sorry to inform you that your piano solo did not win first, second, or third place in our competition. However, the judges admired your creative instinct and imagination and have decided to award you a certificate of special mention. Congratulations! Ketzel, you did it! Moshe cried. He lifted Ketzel in the air, and the two composers danced a jig of joy all around the room. A few weeks later, Moshe brushed Ketzel's fur until it shone and put on his very best suit. Then they hailed a taxi and rode to the concert hall where Ketzel's piano solo was having its debut. Moshe carried Ketzel inside his jacket and sat down in the very last row. When the concert hall darkened, he placed Ketzel on his lap. The music began. Two whole hours went by. Finally, a young girl crossed the stage. I will now play Piece for Piano, Four Paws by Ketzel. The girl paused, then began again. I will now play Piece for Piano, Four Paws by Ketzel. <laughs> Ketzel mewled again at the sound of her name. As the audience laughed, the house manager flicked on the lights and rushed to the stage. Is there a cat in the theater, he demanded. That is not allowed. Please leave immediately. But this is Ketzel Kotel, the cat who composed Piece for Piano Four Paws, Moshe said, holding up Ketzel for all to see. A cat who composes? Ridiculous! Ludicrous! Preposterous! Impossible! The judges were called to the stage to confer. There is no rule saying that a cat cannot compose, the head judge announced. Therefore, we invite Ketzel, he paused as she meowed again, to please stay as we all enjoy her prize-winning composition. The young pianist took her place. With arms stiff and hands held straight over the keys, she leaned forward, pausing for a minute like a cat getting ready to pounce. Then she played Ketzel's piece. The girl played Ketzel's composition again, and when she was done, Moshe brought Ketzel up to the stage so that the composer and musician could each take a bow. After the concert, Ketzel became very famous. Her picture appeared in many newspapers, and her composition was performed all over the world. 
and one day another envelope addressed to Quetzalcoatl arrived. It contained a royalty check for $19.72. At the bank, a teller pulled out a stamp pad and Quetzal pressed her front paw into the ink and then placed it on the back of the check, endorsing it with her six-toed signature. The bank teller counted out Quetzal's money. It bought Quetzal many cans of cat food, which she thoroughly enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed learning about Quetzal and Moshe as much as I did. This wonderful story reminds us that inspiration can come from anywhere. It also reminds us to be open to new ideas. We often call that thinking outside of the box. Oh, let's check the author's note for the surprise. Quetzal, the cat who composed, is based on a true story. Morris Moshe Cotel was born in Baltimore, Maryland on February 20th, 1943. He studied music as a boy, and by the time he was 13, he had composed a 200-page four-movement symphony. Mr. Cotel graduated from the Juilliard School of Music in New York City. For many years, he taught music composition at the Peabody Conservatory of Johns Hopkins University. Quetzal was born in 1992. According to Mr. Cotel, her favorite composer was Johann Sebastian Bach. On the day that Quetzal strolled down the keyboard, Mr. Cotel quickly wrote down the notes exactly as he heard them. Later, he entered Quetzal's exquisite atonal miniature in the Paris New Music Review One Minute Competition, where it received a special mention. In the actual letter sent to Quetzal, the judges praised the composer for her creative instinct and imagination. Peace for Piano, Four Paws, had its world premiere at the Friedberg Concert Hall at the Peabody Conservatory on January 21, 1998. It was played by 10-year-old pianist Shruti Kumar. Quetzal did not attend that performance, but did attend a later one and meowed loudly at the sound of her name when her piece was introduced, much to the audience's delight. Quetzal became quite famous for her piano piece. Mr. Cotel said she was his best student and was amused at how quickly her fame surpassed his own. After her piece was played in Europe, Quetzal received a royalty check for $19.72, which was used to purchase cat food. And so, what will be your inspiration each day? A teacher? A cat? A dog, a dance, a song, a picture, a hug, a memory, a dessert? Who knows? The possibilities are endless. It's your job to make sure your creative mind is open and listening.